Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I am working on 2000 Nissan Sephiro 2 liter V6 car. Customer complaint is intermittently surge idle and low power. As always, did the pre scan and I will show you that there were two fault codes in the engine control module. You can see here one for the knock sensor, the other one is P1320 ignition signal primary, which I am going to chase for customer complaint. As my next test, I am going to perform secondary ignition waveform test, which is more reliable and accurate diagnostic for identify ignition related problems as well as engine and combustion related problems. Already I have hooked up my HS502 oscilloscope and my DIY secondary ignition probe, which is always give me a perfect secondary ignition waveform pattern. Okay, let's measure all the six cylinders secondary ignition waveform one by one in order to see any difference among six cylinders. This side is the bank 2 of this V6 engine and this side is the bank 1. However, I don't care about the firing order. I just go to the bank 2 and see the secondary ignition waveform on inline cylinders in the bank 2 first. Okay, let's see the first cylinder secondary ignition waveform in the bank 2. So, here I put my probe on this ignition coil and we'll see the waveform. Okay, do you see that perfect and beautiful secondary ignition waveform on the screen with my DIY probe? So this DIY probe worked very well for me. So uh, this number one ignition coil showing a perfect secondary ignition waveform which is not abnormal. So we move to the number two ignition coil on the bank two. That is also showing a uh, decent secondary ignition waveform. Nothing we can consider about uh, this one too. So let's move to the number 3 here. So I put my probe on the number 3 and yeah that is also have a good looking second recognition pattern. So I believe this uh, bank 2 has no any issue with the second recognition patterns. So then I move to the bank 1 here and I put my probe on the number 1 cylinder at the bank 1 in order to see the second recognition waveform here you can see the first cylinder has decent looking waveform but uh, i'm going to pull down this trigger a little bit because uh, i need to see the live uh, second recognition waveform on the number one cylinder okay we need some more adjustment on the screen in order to see a better waveform so i have to do that sorry and i apologize that i'm doing this stuff with the with the one hand so i will do some changes on the screen in order to see a better waveform Okay, now you can see a uh, good looking and decent second recognition waveform pattern on the number one cylinder at the bank one. So, uh, we can't see any abnormality of this pattern uh, on the bank one number one cylinder. It's uh, looking perfect. So, nothing special. So, let's move to the number two cylinder at the bank one. Here I put my probe at the uh, bank one number two cylinder. Okay, we need some more adjustment on the screen in order to see the waveform pattern perfectly so uh, let me adjust my probe on the uh, ignition coil in order to see the waveform yeah here you can see perfect and good looking second ignition waveform on the number two cylinder at the bank one so this is perfect so i can't say anything wrong with the number two cylinder also at the bank one okay i put my probe on the number three cylinder anyway do you see that waveform pattern it has an abnormality rather than all the other five cylinders which i show earlier yeah it has a very shorter burn line so i will uh, invert the waveform first oh no it stopped my screen so it stopped my uh, connection so something interfering for the uh, connection maybe uh, this cylinder ignition coil has a trouble or uh, uh, kick out the high voltage out from the ignition coil and it hit to my probe and then stop the connection between the oscilloscope and the tablet so that could be a problem so yeah let me connect it back and we'll try okay i got the connection back and let's try again so i yeah look at that it is still interfering something for the uh, connection because uh, i believe that ignition coil has a problem and or oh, that cylinder has a problem and hit that high voltage into my probe and uh, disconnect the oscilloscope and the screen connection so yeah it's happening again and again 
so i have to manage it and i will try it again okay got the connection back i put the probe on the number three cylinder at the bank one here you can see the uh, waveform pattern so i just pause the screen because i need to do some measurement in order to uh, find what is the abnormality in the burn line so i'm going to measure the burn line here so i will put a rulers and we'll do a measurement okay i put a horizontal rulers on the burn line and we'll measure the burn line length here so i put the rulers on the burn line like this and okay i'm having the measurements here oh it has barely delta time is uh, around 680 microseconds so it is very very low the other abnormalities which i am seeing here uh, not enough high voltage kick on this waveform you can see here and the uh, very less ripples at the end of the burning line which high voltage goes to the ground so those things are uh, abnormalities on this waveform than the uh, uh, than the other cylinders so i will show you again non good secondary ignition waveform pattern on another ignition coil uh, look at that it has a good looking and height enough high voltage kick and long enough burn line and uh, ripples at the end of the ignition event this is a good waveform pattern as it should be so let's measure the burn line uh, so i put these horizontal rollers between the uh, beginning and end of the burn line like this so uh, you can see here it has a 1.7 uh, millisecond so it has a perfect burn line than the uh, affected one which we show earlier it it had just uh, 600 microseconds but this one had 1.7 millisecond which which is okay and perfect anyway once again i will show you quickly all the second recognition waveform patterns on all the cylinders it was number one this is number two at the bank two perfect burn line and perfect waveform number three cylinder at the bank two perfect and i go to the bank one uh, number one cylinder yeah you can see it has a perfect waveform and i go to the number two yeah but sorry i put my probe on the number three and uh, that high voltage kick hit to the probe and stop my connection now it back so uh, do you see that uh, the difference on the number three cylinder definitely it has a defected uh, ignition coil low in uh, spark plug or anything wrong so we have to find about that okay with my personal experience this extraordinary waveform at the bank one number three cylinder uh, with shorter burn line low high voltage kick and other characteristics indicate high resistant spark plug but it might be something other however we know there is a problem in that cylinder on uh, on the spark event so i am going to remove the spark plug and see first However, this kind of same ignition waveform pattern could throw us when it has a uh, bad secondary side in the ignition coil. Let's see. Okay, I got the ignition coil and the spark plug out from the cylinder. This ignition coil seems aftermarket brand new that uh, recently fitted. But this sheet of spark plug is a fake one which has high resistance and pull the engine power down and make lots of drivability issues. Because I know I have seen this one on couple of other vehicles which had a uh, lot of drivability issues it has a very high resistant and a really really fake one locally we can find definitely this could be the reason for that pop-up p1320 primary ignition fault code so i'm going to uh, change the spark plug first and see so i found this uh, laser iridium spark plug which is very suitable for this engine uh, i'm going to install this new one and uh, recheck the secondary ignition waveform Anyway, remember that Nissan cars trigger this P1320 ignition primary code when any ignition coil or couple of them draw low amp relatively. But uh, various reasons could cause to make ignition coil draw low amps, for instance bad spark plug or plug wires or ignition coil itself. Sometimes in cylinder conditions also could cause to uh, ignition coil draw low amps. So this secondary ignition waveform observe method is the best and efficient way to find which cylinder is causing to trigger this p1320 fault otherwise you would have to change all the spark plugs all the ignition coils or plug wires or uh, ignition related stuff to uh, solve this problem or diagnose this problem that could be uh, so expensive so try this method this is best and much more efficient way okay install the plug and now i am going to install the ignition coil 
uh, here I'm not going to change the ignition coil. I will use same ignition coil because I'm pretty sure that this uh, new ignition coil is not the affected one. Uh, however, let's see what will happen. Okay, start the car and let's see the waveform on the number 3 cylinder at the bank 1. Okay, I put my probe on the number 1 cylinder at the bank 2 here. So now I move my uh, probe onto the number 3 cylinder at the bank 1 which was affected one earlier. So newly uh, spark plug installed cylinder. Do you see that how decent uh, second ignition waveform appear here on the number 3 cylinder which was affected earlier? Pretty nice second ignition waveform pattern. Really I am very happy about that I made a right call on uh, bad spark plug. Really the second ignition waveform test in one of my best tests I always use to find ignition and combustion related faults. It has saved lots of my time and customers money too. And look at this that my uh, DIY probe throw me a very nice and very neat second ignition waveform. So my next step is uh, go to the scanner and clear the fault codes and see will it be back. Okay, I got back and clear the fault codes here. So clear the fault codes. Yes. Okay. And then... Uh, Okay, let's see. Uh, read fall code again. Yeah, no fall code. So I hope to make a test drive and check it back. Okay, all the spark plug replaced and had a 10 kilometers test run. Here you can see that only PO325 uh, knock sensor fall code appear. Uh, it need a separate solution. But I would like to mention here that we had a very good test run. No more drivability issues and no more surge idle. So I did the right call. Thank you for watching.